Hello everyone, Luke here, and how did this happen? New Super Mario Bros, a series so mediocre and so easy to hate. For a while, we were getting multiple of these games a year, and people were just sick and tired of them. But over time, especially in recent years, people have started to enjoy these games again. The story of these games is a mess, so how did we even get here? Well, let's start the story at the very beginning, with New Super Mario Bros released on the Nintendo DS in 2006. We need to start in 1985, and yeah, if I can go one episode without mentioning 1985, I'm literally gonna throw a party. But that's when the first Mario game came out, and people loved it. So after that, we got sequels like Mario Brothers 2 and 3. Now, what do all these games have in common? Well, they're all 2D games. This was because of hardware limitations, obviously. But these made these games super easy for anybody to understand. The fact that the only thing you needed to worry about was moving your character made it very easy for, like, your dog to play. It wasn't like you needed a camera control separately. I mean, that would be too confusing. The next system to come out would be the Super Nintendo, which would come with the game Super Mario World. It was another good 2D game. After that, we got a few Game Boy games being Super Mario Land 1 and Super Mario Land 2 releasing in 1992, and then the world went silent. Four years after Super Mario Land 2, we got Super Mario 64, the first 3D Mario game, and this game was amazing. There were 15 open levels with missions to tackle. This game was extremely fun, but it was a 3D game. And while it was exciting, I feel like we lost a few people along the way. 3D was just very confusing for some people. I mean, you have a camera system to worry about, and you have platforming in 3D. This game was fun for some, but it definitely wasn't for everybody. But, I mean, that's just fine. They can just wait for the next 2D Mario game, right? I mean, right? Years came and went. Super Mario Sunshine came out, a 3D game. There, there had to be something in the works, right? But the years went on. 3D games came and went. Soon, people thought Nintendo forgot about 2D games, and most lost hope. But some still hoped for a day 2D would return. Then, on January 21st, 2006, the world went silent. A game called New Super Mario Bros. was announced for the Nintendo DS for a spring 2006 release. The game was a 2D Mario game styled on how the games used to be back in the day. Ending the levels with a flagpole, the power-up system, it had been 14 years since the last 2D Mario game. I mean, people were excited, and by people, I mean literally everybody. This game appealed not only to kids who loved video games and Mario, but also adults who grew up with the original Super Mario Brothers over 20 years ago. This game came out on May 15th, 2006, and got super high reviews. Critics were saying how this game would be remembered just how Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 3 were. So, did this game stand the test of time? Well, the answer is yes and no, but let's talk about this game so you guys can see what I mean. This game is meant to go back to the roots of Mario, so the story is as simple as ever. This time, Bowser Jr. kidnaps Peach instead of Bowser. The whole story is set up in like this 20 second cutscene and you're straight in, and this game is as basic as Mario games get. Every level is very simple, your goal is trying to get to the flagpole at the end of the stage, but Mario has a few new moves taken from 3D Mario. With new moves like the ground pound, the triple jump, and the wall jump, they all feel great in 2D. Mario's moveset has never felt this good. There are 8 worlds, each with different themes. The two new themes from this game is the toxic jungle and rocky cliff areas now new to the Mario series. I like these worlds in particular, they feel very distinct. This is a good time to bring up the art style, and I know with every new Super Mario Bros game the backgrounds are exactly the same, but in the context of this game when it came out, the, these are backgrounds we've never seen before, so while every other game copied these world themes and the music and the art style, this game is where it all came from, and it's all new here, so in that regard, I really enjoy the art style in this game. Everything looks so colorful, and it just works. One of the biggest parts of every Mario game is the new power-ups. The big new power-up advertised here was the Mega Mushroom, and looking at the box art, this looks awesome. If I was a kid and I saw this at the store, I'd beg my mom to buy it for me then and there. The idea of being Mega Mario is just so cool to me, and then you actually play the game and it appears in like two levels. The power-up is pretty underutilized to be honest, because it's honestly a fun power-up. I like smashing through the whole stage and destroying everything in my path, I just wish more levels used it. The two other power-ups, well... The Mini Mushroom. This power-up shrinks Mario and allows him to walk on water. This sounds really cool, but it really only exists to get like a star coin or a 1-up. It's never put into a level design in a cool way. The only time the power-up gets a creative use is when you need to beat a boss small to unlock like a secret world or something, but overall this one is pretty underutilized. 
The last power-up is the blue shell. The blue shell lets you slide around the stage for a cost of not being able to control very well. This is one of those love it or hate it power-ups. Every review I've seen, people either praised it or hated it. There's no saying it's just fine. You either love the unique idea that makes traversing the stage very fun and is sad how the power-up is never returned, or you actively despise the unfun and unfair controls and feel like it's a waste of a power-up created by Satan himself. As for me, yeah, it's fine. So, the new power-ups were a little disappointing, but at least we have a lot of the old power-ups return here, as well as a fun level design and good boss fights. The final boss is a little bit underwhelming, but other than that, this is a really good game that still holds up today. But it doesn't end here, because we also have minigames to talk about. They're a really fun distraction from the main game. I really like this bomb one with the fire, and this one where you gamble with Luigi because, I mean, come on. The minigames make the experience feel more complete, and they're really fun to go back to. And that's new Super Mario Bros. Honestly, this was a really fun game with tons of new ideas. I mean, yeah, this was the first 2D Mario game in over 14 years. Only if we didn't have four more games to go. And as always, see you in the next one.